you get Rogue Spear working on Windows 10, and only Windows 10, Windows 7 needs a different setup, you're going to go to this website, which I'll link underneath, download this, which is an all-in-one install, so you don't need to mess around with patches, expansions, custom maps, whatever. So you download that, but you're also going to download this, Dedraw. Install the game. It takes a little while to wake up. And actually, it's called DDraw compatibility, which is linked here, which I'll also link underneath if you don't want to download it from the other website. Now this thing here is Voobly, I think. If you want to play online, you'll have to go OK, otherwise you can just hit Cancel. Then you want to open up this. And then you want to open up DDraw. And then move this into here. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, straight off the bat I'm going to tell you not to use normal full screen because it's completely buggered in this version. So instead we're going to go into the registry. And we want to find full screen. To set the false in this one, so that's fine. You want to change this to whatever you want to use, so I usually, for windowed only mode, use this. Now, even with borderless full screen, it's going to, and window mode obviously, it's going to show up like this. But this is 1600 by 900. Now, for borderless full screen, we want to put this on to what my maximum is, which is this. Yours might be different. And then we're going to get this program, Borderless Gaming. Now for me, Rogue Spear is already in the favourites, but for you it will show up in the Applications. We'll just go back. And Rogue Spear will show up here for you. You want to press this button to move it over into Favourites, which will automatically put it in full screen for you, like it did for me. Now as you can tell, it's obviously ugly in its current state. This won't change until you get in-game. Like so. But as you can tell, because the game is running at too high of a frame rate, the third person is really slow. There you go, now it's locked in. So we exit out of that. Close that for now. Actually, we do need that open. Then you want to get a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And Rogue Spear comes with this. And I've already chosen some FPS caps for you to try out. So we can just go import. Uh, I believe this will be the lowest, so we'll have a look at that. Obviously it's not very appealing, but third person is basically instantaneous.
60 FPS. It's not as bad as it was before, but it's still not that great. And I believe 30 is the happy medium. Now if you're having uh, like mouse sensitivity through the roof, you'll have to change your DPI and your mouse frequency to as pretty much as low as it can go. How you do that is changes on what mouse you have, so you'll have to find that out on your own. But with this mode you can actually alt tab just fine without the game breaking. Rather than without having to do this windowed and borderless windowed mode. In normal full screen you'll end up... It'll just bring a heartache honestly. So there's so many issues with it. Uh, for Windows 7 users uh, all you need to do to run this game is to set the game to run, oh, set your desktop to run in 16-bit colour. And if you still, if you have mouse issues, there is a program called ShakeFix, I think, I think, which will also help alleviate that. It doesn't work on Windows 10, but I'll link it underneath as well.